everyone, Rebecca Fawcett here with Focus Real Estate. I am with the lovely Miss Keely Buchanan of Colorado Educational Consulting. She is the expert when it comes to school choice and navigating the school systems here in Colorado and all the counties specifically between Denver, Douglas County. Today, we're talking about Douglas County. So I'm gonna let Keely kind of give you an overview of what that looks like, and then we'll dive into some more deeper questions. Awesome, thanks. Uh, Douglas County School District uh, is a school district of choice, like most of the public school districts in the state of Colorado. What does that mean? What that means is the address that you rent, own, that you're buying, that you're going to buy, uh, is going to map typically to one assigned boundary elementary school, one assigned boundary middle school, and one assigned boundary high school. Now, if you're someone who's moving from Denver into Douglas County, you might go, what about enrollment zones? Great news, Douglas County does not have enrollment zones. They keep it very easy. One assigned boundary elementary, one assigned boundary middle, one assigned boundary high. What does that mean? It means that that school, your assigned boundary school, is legally holding a spot for your kiddo starting in kindergarten, then starting again uh, in middle school, which in Douglas County is actually either sixth or fifth, sixth or seventh grade, and then ninth grade for high school. So if you are moving into Douglas County or you already live there, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at your assigned boundary school. That's where you always want to start. Because again, that's the school that's legally holding a spot for your kiddo. Um, so you wanna tour, right? You wanna look into it, you wanna research. Um, and if you love your assigned boundary school, which is best case, that's the school you go to. Um, and if you wanna look elsewhere, you can look at charter public schools. And Douglas County actually has quite a few charter public schools. And most of them actually run enrollment separate from Douglas County's enrollment process. We'll talk a little bit more about that too. Perfect. It's a high level overview. Yes, I know also Douglas County has a really great map that'll help you kind of pinpoint, especially if you're looking at a specific area for your new home, or if you're actually looking at a new build, it'll help kind of navigate and show you what school zone you're actually in for that. So Keely, tell us about moving. So if you are say moving yeah. from, Denver County down and it is, let's say, April. So you've missed Douglas County's initial push to get sure. into a school. What does that look like to transition for them? Yeah, so Douglas County actually runs one of the earliest uh, enrollment zone windows. So most school districts are gonna have two windows of enrollment or two windows of choice. Um, none of the districts really talk to each other, so they all like to use different terms, just to mix things up. <laughs> uh, but Douglas County has one of the earliest, so it actually opens November 1st and closes December 1st, which is even earlier than Denver. So, you know, that's seven to eight months before school starts that you actually need to be thinking about it, so it's pretty early. And then their second uh, round window doesn't open until late January. And typically, you want to get in on round one. That's when your odds are best. But if you're moving into Douglas County or you're moving into Colorado and you think you want to live in Douglas County, um, again, as soon as you move into a boundary, your kiddos are legally guaranteed to be able to go to that school. And we'll just say starting in kinder, um, whatever grade they're in. Um, but when it comes to moving and you want to look at schools that are not your boundary school, that's where things just get a little bit more complicated. But one of the coolest things about the Douglas County School District, and I work with a lot of families moving into Colorado, is that Douglas County has more than half a dozen charter public schools that run their enrollment independently and independent of the Douglas County enrollment process. So what does that mean? That's actually good news for someone who's moving into Douglas County who doesn't yet have a Colorado address because there's quite a few schools, if any of their profiles interest you, that you can apply to right now. Whether you live in a different state, whether you live in a different Great. district, you can do that. So people can actually start enrolling preemptively in anticipation of moving or mm -hmm. their house is being done, but maybe it's not done yet and they're not really sure what that looks like. So that's a really great option. That way they know exactly what's happening when their kids are going there, especially if you're moving from a different area, you want yeah. your kids to start there mm -hmm. um, for a month or two before maybe you move into your new home. That's also another option too, correct? Absolutely. So um, whenever I work with a family that's thinking, well, we think we might move to Douglas County or near there, I'm like, great, let's start with these lottery school, these charter public schools. Let's enroll for each of these six, let's say. Um, let's see what happens. Then when you move into Douglas County, we can take a look at your boundary school and we can potentially look at some other schools within Douglas County as well. There's very few districts that have a lot of those schools that allow sort of anyone to apply at any time. 
Um, Littleton has two, Cherry Creek has two, Denver doesn't actually have any, but Douglas County has the longest list. Um, they also have one K-12 option, and that's the STEM School Highlands Ranch, which is a K-12 charter public school that actually anyone could apply to right now if that school is within your commute preference. And you may get in within a year, you might get in within two years, you might never get in, but it does give you a wider <laughs> safety a shot. <laughs> you do have a shot. So that's typically where I start is if you're open to Douglas County, let's look at all of those lottery schools first. Um, some of them, most of them are K-8, so it also gives you uh, one less transition when it comes to middle school. That's what a lot of people love. So high level, you are guaranteed a spot within your boundary school. You do not have to stress out about choice unless you want to and you want to look outside your boundary. You absolutely have the option to choice in if you'd like. Mm -hmm. But the good news is once you find your right home, you have a spot guaranteed in that school. That's correct. Yep. Any other questions? All of Keely's information is down below. She also runs several classes throughout the year. Please feel free to reach out with her with any additional questions that you have. Thanks for your time today.